What's going on guys? It's UNSC Australia here and today we're doing our Q&A session for our 500 subscribers. Um, before we get into it though guys, I'd just like to give a big thank you to all the subs and all the people that have started following me on Instagram and on Twitter. I never imagined that we'd get up to 500 subscribers this quick or even at all and I'm really grateful for all of your support and all your feedback for my videos. You've helped me improve and the channel is what it is now because of you guys. Uh, we currently are at 525 so within the week that I've announced that we got up to 500 we've gained an extra 25 subscribers so that's amazing guys and that's all thanks to you. I've got a lot of plans for the future and some we'll discuss in the questions because some people have asked it and I said I would answer but other ones I'm gonna leave for a later video and yeah, as you guys have probably seen in my Instagram post, uh, we're moving into our new house next week. So, pretty exciting. I still got to hook up my internet once we're in there, but as soon as that's done, you know what will be happening next. Anyway guys, let's get into the Q&A and let's see what some of you guys want to know. So the first one's from Bubba Jet. Optic or phase? I don't really follow the MLG side of things. But I probably see FaZe more than anything, so I'm going to go FaZe. Like, yeah, that's that's my calling. That's who I follow. Go FaZe. Team FaZe. FaZe for life. So the next one's from Adam underscore Badrick underscore. What is the best thing about your Instagram account? And also, what's the best thing about being a YouTuber? Well, firstly, I reckon the best thing about my Instagram account is really all of you guys. Like, some of you send me private messages about things that you're struggling with like in your real life stuff and ask me stuff like that as well and we kind of help each other through it and that's kind of amazing like some of you are from other countries even and we're helping each other out and that's probably my favorite thing about my Instagram account and also all the awesome Halo posts you guys are awesome but best thing about being a YouTuber getting to do these type of videos once a week and hopefully once when I'm in my new house twice a week but I have a lot of fun making these videos and it's a lot of fun seeing your responses to them and seeing what you guys think about it. So that's going to be my favorite thing about being a YouTuber. So next one, Connor underscore Martins. Why are you so cool? I don't know. I'm just, I don't think I'm cool. I, you know what? That's why I'm cool. Because I don't think I'm cool. So that's why I'm cool. Polosaurus Rex and Spartan 6502. Face reveal? Maybe. Maybe do a face reveal. Mm. I don't think I'll do it in this video because I'm a little shy. I'm, I'm very shy and I feel like as soon as I show my face, you guys are just going to unsub. You guys will run away. Spartan6502 and Robert Thieves also asks, when you're getting better internet, will you be playing with Halo fans? Yes, guys. Yes, I will be. Most definitely. I don't care if I have to stay up all night to play with you guys on the other side of the world. I owe you guys a game night and we are playing some games. Halo Infection wanted to know, what was your goal when you first started YouTube and Instagram? Well, when I started my Instagram account, it was purely just to talk about Halo with other Halo fans. I'll talk about Halo to a lot of my friends and they would just not really care. Like, I would start saying, oh, did you hear about the ISO Didact? He did this. And they'd be like, who? I'm like, like, you know the Didact from Halo 4? Wait, was he the... Was he the light globe thing? And I'm like, no, all right, I'm just not going to talk to you. But with you guys, I can say things like that, and a lot of you will correct me if I say something wrong, and I'm like, wow, I actually learned something today. That's great. So that was my original goal with Instagram, and my, my goal with YouTube was purely just to see what you guys thought about me doing Halo-related videos. And it started off just with um, montage things, like I was doing... Halo 4 cutscenes and gameplay and adding it to music and all of you guys really like that stuff but can't have it on there now because of licensing issues. <laughs> um, Mistress.Chief, oh my god, can we stream together sometime? I understand if you don't want to. Yes, we can stream together sometime. Um, you'll probably just have to wait like everyone else till I get my better internet but as soon as I do, hit me up. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Maybe I haven't done any streaming before, so that'll be interesting. Spartan underscore 526. Why did you make a Halo Instagram account? Uh, like I said before to Halo Infection, it was purely just to talk about Halo stuff to other Halo fans. Osh3Wolf. What is generally your favorite type of post slash video to work on? 
Uh, my favourite type of post would have to be the verses. I really enjoy you guys coming up with cool verses or one day I'll be just like, hey, I wonder who would win out of these two things. Um, but t favourite type of video, I'd have to say at the moment would be the achievement videos. I have a lot of fun doing them and getting that achievement at the end of the video is always a massive thing of relief. Like, I, I feel so, like... I feel like I achieved something with that achievement. Funny enough, isn't it? With that name, achievement, you feel like you achieved something. But yeah, that's got to be my favourite type of video to work on. The next one's from Carpet Chisels. What is your favourite update from Halo 5? Um, I'd have to say Memories of Reach, just because I loved the Reach game so much, and also Infection. Lord underscore Banatron. If you had to remove one integral feature from Halo 5, e.g. Warzone Assault or Griff Ball, what would you remove? I'd probably have to say Warzone Assault, really. Like, that's the first thing that comes to my mind, just because I don't play it that often, and when I have played it, it's normally been a complete wipe. That's probably because of my internet. I can't keep up with everyone. People are just jumping all over the place, and I'm like, Psh, stuff this, I'll go play something else. Hedera underscore the underscore douchebag. What is your opinion on Halo 5's story direction, and how it affects Halo 4's ending? Yeah, yeah, this has been a bit of a controversial thing with me because... But that's good, isn't it? Like, it makes you... It makes you really think about it, where... Like, in Halo 4, you're really sad, Cortana's gone, and... Chief's all alone, and... It really hurt, like, trust me, I went and saw my mate, like, straight after it, and he's like... Cortana? And I'm like, Cortana! We were upset, but... Halo 5, she comes back and she's a bit of a badass and she wants to do all her things. That's kind of a bit of a polar opposite and it makes Halo 4's ending seem null and void, but at the same time, you kind of like, you can see how much this would affect Chief and how this shapes how he is and how he feels about what she's doing. It's it's a progression story. It, it, I don't think it ruins Halo 4's ending because if you play through it, one through to five, you you go through those emotions like Chief would. If you played five and then went back to four, then yeah, you'd be like, what? No, why is she saying that she's going? And why does this seem like a sad ending? She's just going to backfire it anyway. But if you play through it in the right order, I reckon it's a good progression. I, I don't mind how they've gone with it. And I'm really interested to see what happens in the next one. And yeah, that's going to be really cool. Tom underscore Moss. When lightning strikes the sea, why don't all the fish die? You know what, I actually looked this up because I was thinking about it and I'm like, you know what, why don't they die? It actually turns out lightning doesn't strike the sea as much as it strikes land. And when it does strike the sea, because water is like a super good conductor is also with salt water, it gets spread out really well and really quickly. If there is a fish like near the, the center of where the lightning strikes, it will die. But not all of them. It's not going to electrify the whole ocean and kill them all off. So there you go, dude. Draken342. Who is your favourite non-Halo character? If we're talking about TV shows as well as games and everything, I'm going to have to go Alan Grant from Jurassic Park just because, yeah, Jurassic Park and Alan Grant, like, psh, you can't go past them, too. That's, that's an awesome combo. But from a video game... You know what? Leon from Resident Evil 4. I think it's Resident Evil 4. Yeah, Resident Evil 4. Leon! Yeah, I'm gonna go with him. I'll lock it in. West Dakota Official. Your channel is awesome, dude. Wish more people would subscribe. Me too, but 525, come on, that's pretty good. What was your first Halo game and what did you think of it? Also, what are your opinions on Halo CE? Would you rather live in the US, UK or Australia? How can 343 improve MCC and its servers? Alright, so first up, uh, first Halo game I played would probably be Halo 2, I think. What are your opinions on Halo CE? I love Halo CE. That's going to be one of my favourite Halo games. Uh, would you rather live in the US or UK? Um, I would have to say I, I love living in Australia. I haven't been overseas. I haven't seen any other country. So... Just on that alone, I'm going to have to go with Australia still, but I would like to visit the US and UK just to see how it is, but I probably wouldn't choose to live there. And how can 343 improve MCC servers? Just shut them down. Shut them down completely. Restart. Have a look at what they did and what they can improve. 
and then boot them back up and bring Halo 3 Anniversary with it. For free, by the way, because that was, that was just terrible. 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 Ruffle Copter Gaming 21. When you move into your new house, what do you plan to do? I plan to do a lot of things, man. One of them being game nights. I'm hoping to host a lot of game nights. Also, I want to do a lot of, um, possibly getting that achievement videos with some fans and some other people that might need to get that achievement as well. And I'm also hoping to do maybe some, um, challenge videos, like... Someone might set a challenge and then me and that person can go into the game and see if we can accomplish it together. I'm like, yeah, just a lot of community Check things, man. Halo.pro and Zerans.priv, how old are you? I don't. I refuse to answer this comment. I am 52 years old, but reverse those numbers and that's how old I am. All right, so the next question was asked by... This is a really hard name to say. I'm going to get Siri to say it for me. Something like that. So I think it's Assisian born in Z as I'm just gonna put it on screen. It's really hard to say. Are you Australian? Yes, I am Australian. I've never left Australia. As sad as that sounds. I went to Tasmania once. It was scary and I came back. Joey Agram. What's 9 plus 10? 21. But for real, do you think Halo 5's rec system will be in Halo 6 and any other Halo games? If so, do you think it will be changed in any way? Or if not, what will there be? By the way, I love you. Instagram and your YouTube account. See you at the thousand. Yeah, I probably, yeah, Halo 6 will have the rec system. It's really, it's worked out well for them so far. I don't know. I'd like to see a lot more rewarded recs. Um, like, you know how if you get so many shotgun kills, then you can get this sort of wreck. I like that better than the randomness of the wreck system. Razula, Bungie or 343? Both. They, they both bring their own unique quality to this, like, to this franchise and to this Halo universe. I'm not too sure if I can say this name, so I'm just going to whisper it. Universe nigga. How do you nearly have 10k on Instagram, but 500 on YouTube? By the way, congrats. Instagram and YouTube don't really go hand in hand. Like, it's not really easy for Instagram people to jump over to YouTube. So, it's a little harder. And also, I've been on Instagram longer than I've been on YouTube. So, that comes into account as well. Maybe I'll do something special if my Instagram and my YouTube subscriber count ever aligns. I'll do a convergence giveaway or something like that. Overlord162. Who is your favorite Spartan character of all time other than Master Chief and his team? You know what, I'd have to go Noble Six. It's pretty cliche and a lot, I know a lot of people choose that particular Spartan, but I choose him not for the fact of who he was, but because that was me. Darug, HMD7903. Is Cerna gonna be in Halo Wars 2? I'm pretty sure that's the AI in Halo Wars 1, and yeah, I believe she will be in Halo Wars 2. Although, I I can't remember exactly how many years later it is. I think it's like 28 years since Halo Wars 1 to Halo Wars 2, so... She could have gone rampant. Valis Panda? I'm pretty sure that's how I pronounce your name, dude. What do you think could be in line for Halo 6? And do you think there should be more armor abilities? In line for Halo 6, I am hoping, I am praying for Flood. Bring back the Flood. More armor abilities? Hmm... Maybe... You know a bubble shield would be good again? Like, get that drop shield. Halo underscore things. Who's your favorite AI? Mm, other than Cortana, I'd have to say Black Box or BB. I think it's from the Thursday Wars he's first mentioned, but he's also in, um... Oh, what's that thing called? Hunt the Truth Season 2, so you can look him up. UNSC Wisconsin. Face reveal slash GT reveal. Uh, face reveal, like I said before, maybe... And GT reveal, yes. There will be a Gamertag reveal video. I will be posting a video on that when I have my internet set up. As soon as I got that set up, i planning to have maybe a one, two minute video with a Gamertag reveal. So you guys can look forward to that. West Dakota official. How do you think the Arbiter will die and when? You know what? I was thinking about this the other day when I read your question. And the most traumatic thing I can think of is imagine if Cortana kills the Arbiter in Halo 6. Whoa. Just think 
think about that for a second. Think about what that would do to Master Chief, seeing the Arbiter get killed. Like, she has, like, some crazy AI ability to, like, put hard light around all these, like, arms and legs and then, like, spears him in the chest. Whoa. With the Prophet's Bane. That is... Ooh. This is Jack underscore Emil 33. What is your favorite helmet in Halo 3 to 5? Lotus? Lotus looks pretty cool. Let's go with that one. That looks awesome. Alex underscore Crane underscore. What's the craziest thing you've ever experienced in a Halo game? The first day I played Halo 5, me and my mate Wilkes were going through the campaign together and I was riding in a Wraith and I actually fell out of the map. Like I was just driving normally and then the map gave way and I fell through it. Went straight through to the bottom of the, I don't know, the design of the game. It hit like nothing. And then I was just underneath the whole map. And I could see Wilkes still up the top running around. I couldn't do anything, so I just kept driving through. And I'm pretty sure he finished the level for us. So, shout out to him for finishing that. But that was probably the craziest thing that's ever happened. And that was pretty weird. UNSC Fire Titans. Who's your favorite YouTuber besides yourself? Obviously, my man BBK Dragoon. Hopefully, he's listening to this. If he is, hey man. But yeah, he he's got to be my favorite YouTuber just because he helped me out a lot with me doing this and gave me a lot of tips in his general videos. Halo Dot Pro. How did you feel when you saw Emil's death on Halo Reach? Yeah, mm, I don't know. I was when I first saw it, I was pretty shocked by it. I guess. Because I just did not see that coming. But at the same time, I was like, yeah, he's still, like, taking them on while he's dying. That I was like, that's how he would want to go out. Best underscore of underscore the underscore nerdy underscore things. Have you ever resorted to trolling? No, but uh, I, I guess I'm just too nice of a guy. I see someone, like, troll me, like, now and then, because I'm just... I'm not great at PvP. I'll be the first to admit that. I'll put my hand up and say, yeah, I'm not that great. Sometimes I get messages from people saying, oh, dude, GG. And I'm just like, thanks. I, I, I tried. <laughs> the King Tigris. Did you like slash enjoy Halo 4? If so, why? Yes, I did enjoy Halo 4. It wasn't as great as I, uh, it wasn't as great as I was hoping it would be. But I did overall enjoy it. It was kind of a new experience, new enemies. I did not like how the Covenant looked when I first ran through it. But then you find out it's the Storm Covenant and all that sort of jazz. But I really did enjoy the game. It was kind of a repetitive... It felt like a repetitive campaign. But still the story in it was a-okay. I really did enjoy it. And the ending... The ending made up that whole game. If you gave up playing that game just before the ending, you're missing out on the whole game. Play through it, get right up to the ending, and it is a pretty good game once you get that ending. Victor Ryzen, which is your favorite Halo game? That's a really tough one as well. I would have to say CE. Combat Evolve would have to be my favorite Halo game, just because, like I said before, the replayability, it's a lot of fun going through that campaign over and over again. I don't know how many times I've done it, but it's a lot. GPLCMan05, when are you getting better Wi-Fi? I'll be getting better Wi-Fi as soon as I move into the house. Like, my girlfriend might be unpacking and getting the house all pretty. I'll be calling up internet people seeing what the best deal I can get for my NBN. Daniel underscore Danny Lyak, I think that's how you pronounce it, dude. I'll put it up on screen. Sorry if I mispronounced it. What is your favorite game before Halo? And will you be hosting a lobby with your subs, like me, or anyone? So, first off, favorite game before Halo? I didn't have a console back then, so I couldn't play any of the console games. But I did have a PC, and I was playing a lot of Age of Empires, and also Carnivores. If you don't know what Carnivores is, it's pretty much a hunting game where you hunt dinosaurs. It's just that epic. And yes, we will be having game nights with subs. And I hope to see you there, man. If you are, and you are in one of my games, just go, Hey, dude, you answered my question in that 500 sub video. And I'll be like, yeah, I remember you. YSF underscore 117. Are you excited for Halo Wars 2? Yes. Halo Wars 2 hype. 
I am really excited for this game. Mainly for the story, though. I really enjoy the Halo Wars story, and their cutscenes are just out of this world and blur. Blur make awesome cutscenes. I can't wait to see that. Majestic Goat. <laughs> Majestic Goat. Booby? Booby, booby, booby? Ah, booby. Yes to all of the above. Lady Vanquish. When did you start playing Halo, and which one of the games did you enjoy the most? Um, like I said before, I started playing Halo back when Halo 2 was out, but only very part-time. I'd have to say probably played Halo right through was Halo Reach. That was the first game I got to play by myself all the way through on Legendary. And the one I enjoy the most, Combat Evolved. It's so much fun. X dot ben Medellin dot x what is your favorite halo movie probably forward unto dawn i i really enjoyed that one and it's probably the one i've watched the most marky moo 171 hey man so i noticed how a lot of people always seem to skip over halo wars when talking about the halo series and yeah you could say it's because it's a spin-off but if that were the case then why would they bring up odst or reach so my question to you is why do you think people always skip Halo Wars? I honestly enjoyed Halo Wars a lot and clearly other people did, otherwise Halo Wars 2 wouldn't be a thing. I don't know, what are your thoughts on this? Thanks. I think people skip over Halo Wars just because it's a real time strategy game and that's not a lot of people's strong point, it's not mine and yeah I just think that's why people kind of skipped it. Xbox Union, Ass vs Titties. I refuse to answer that. And he also asked, if you could be a Marine, ODST, Spartan, etc., what would you be? Well, first off, I'm going to have to say ass. Um, and I would have to be a Spartan. Like, why wouldn't you choose being a Spartan? Like, I don't know, ODSTs are cool, and I'm definitely not going to be a Marine, because I'm not cannon fodder. But, yeah, I would have to go a Spartan, although augmentation might kill me or mutate me. But I think they're better now. Ellie 44 Ryan 44 Who's your favorite from Blue Team slash Osiris? Um, other than Chief, probably Linda. Linda's a pretty cool character. And if you read some of the books and some of the other stuff where she's mentioned, she's a really cool character. I, I like her a lot. Patrick underscore Lopez 0708. Favorite member of Alpha 9. I'm actually not too sure who Alpha 9 is, man. I'm sorry. I, I don't know that one. So, maybe hit me up on Instagram, you can give me the background story on it, and yeah, I'd love to know more about that. Mr. Lolzy, when did you start playing Halo? Probably back in Halo 2, and that was just at a mate's place, just playing casually, but didn't get serious until I could afford my own console and then play through Halo Reach solo dolo. Omega underscore Teemo. Of all the weapons in Halo games, which weapons are your favorite? Energy Sword would have to be my number one favorite. That I love that. And also a DMR. So if I could have that combo, Energy Sword and DMR, in real life, I would totally love to have them. So they're my favorite weapons. Creeper underscore King underscore one, two, three. How is it as a YouTuber? It's a lot of fun being a YouTuber, man. Like, I can't wait till I'm a bit... A bit of a more well-known name and I get to have a bit more of the experience in it but from what I've experienced so far it's a lot of fun I quite enjoy keeping up to date with what other people are doing in the Halo community plus adding my own little thing to it Master Chief 0328 what is your best kill in Halo ever my best kill in Halo ever you know what this probably happened not that long ago but um we are playing a breakout game, and I threw the grenade right off the get-go, as soon as I landed on the ground, all the way to the other side of the map, and it landed inside that tunnel and stuck someone, and I got a double kill from it. And I was just like, that is never happening again. And unfortunately, I didn't DVR it or game capture it, so I couldn't relive it. Zem Buddha. If you could meet anyone in the Halo universe, who would it be? You know what? I'm going to choose the Arbiter. Just because that is going to be a different species, an amazing character. And also he's got an energy sword. I'm pretty sure I could steal that off him if I tried hard enough. Probably wouldn't work actually. Paul180. Do you like trains? Trains are okay. I build buses for a living, so buses over trains for life. Draken342. Who is your favorite game character excluding Halo? 
as I said before, probably Leon from Resident Evil 4. But if I had to choose another, another one, um, there's a game, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's called Champions Return to Arms. And there's like this giant, or oh, not really giant, but there's this lizard character that you can play as in the game. And I got to play as him and I called him Bob. I'm Felix Gabua. What if only Noble Six's hologram was killed and he's a new character? Would love this to happen or John appears in Halo 6. Just bring, just bring some old names back to Halo. I'm pretty sure John is still doing, I think he's doing the Spartan program. He recruited the new Spartans. He recruited S Sarah Palmer, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, I reckon his character could come back in Halo 6. Maybe they show like a cutscene of people recruiting new Spartans to combat this new infection. Flood, flood, flood. But yeah, that would be cool. And Noble Six's hologram, mind blown. Hopefully, that would be really cool actually, if he was a playable character again. That would be really interesting. KJL underscore the ruler underscore 22. What is your favorite character out of all of the Halo games? Um, probably Noble Six. I think I already answered that. If not, yeah, definitely Noble Six. He's because that was me and I'm an awesome badass. Ben underscore Werner 117. Do you like 21 Pilots? Yes, I really do like their music. It's pretty interesting. I actually bought my girlfriend their CD and I like to listen to it. But probably not as much as her. She's got it playing non-stop in her car. Dom underscore Cheesehead. Which Spartan team do you prefer? Blue team, Omega team, Red team, Fire team Osiris, or any other Spartan team in the Halo universe? You know what? I'd have to pick the gray team. I'm pretty sure that's in the Cole Protocol book or novel. And I think it's called the, the Grey Team. If not, the Spartan team that's in Cold Protocol would have to be my favourite team. Adam underscore Dally. If you could have any rec weapon in Infection as a survivor, just for you, what would it be? You know what? The, the small grenade launcher out of Halo Reach. That would be so much fun to have an Infection. You could just shoot that around corners and everyone would be like, where the hell are these things coming from? That'd be a lot of fun. Xavier11123 Do you think Bon Jovi is good? I don't really like a lot of his music, but he is pretty good at what he does, I, I will admit. Mario underscore Adonis Run I think that's how you pronounce it, man. Sorry if I mispronounced it. Do you play any sports? Um, at the moment, no. I used to play ice hockey, and I played that for about, I think, seven years, and... Other than that, now, probably just spear fishing. I do a, a lot of spear fishing with my friends. I don't do it at the moment since I've moved, but once I move back into my new house, we'll be going down to the beach. We'll be doing a lot more spear fishing. Blurry underscore underscore face underscore underscore X. What are your long term goals, if any, for your Halo channel? And what did you set out to achieve? My long term goals for my Halo channel would be to maybe do a collaboration video with like a major Halo channel or a major other channel. It would be really cool, like, to do something maybe with BBK Dragoon or maybe get featured on Halo Follower or maybe do something on the actual Halo channel. What did I set out to achieve with my channel? Um, you know what? I kind of just set out to have fun. That's all I really wanted to do with it. Hey, I'm Rob37. Why do you censor your GT in your videos? I get asked this a lot and it's purely because of the fact I wanted to do a gamertag reveal for a while, but also I wanted to wait until I had better internet. I didn't want to be on really crappy internet and have you guys wanting to play a game with me and I, I would accept the gamer invite and would start playing a game and then I might get kicked. Camden underscore Glover. What gets you triggered? Bad internet. Really laggy internet is my trigger point all the way. Mm, also, not having any skills. That that seems to get me pretty upset as well. John117 Jr. Favorite Halo? Um, I'm pretty sure I answered this already. If not, Halo Combat Evolved would have to be my favorite Halo. And close second would have to be Halo Reach. Sergeant Slug Gaming. Favorite Halo Memory? Um, my favorite Halo memory would probably be, it's going to sound really sappy, but the first, like, kind of date I ever had with my girlfriend was playing through Halo Combat Evolve, 
and she told me that she could complete the whole campaign in under an hour and I said there was no way she could do that and then we loaded into the game and we probably spent the first hour of the game of her trying to get her settings right on her controller because she plays inverted and weird setups and all this sensitivity and stuff and it just didn't happen and then I was running through the game and she was just dying a lot and it was a lot of fun. That was probably my favorite Halo memory. Twin Tem, I think that's how you say it. Since RTX 2016 fresh in everyone's mind, what are some memorable Halo machinima other than RVB have you seen? Also, has Noble Six been on some epic rampage in Uncharted Deep Space fighting Forgotten Covenant Cult? That last one, whoa, mind blown. That'd be awesome. That goes great with that other guy's question. Um, that'd be really cool to see. And if that became a game or a short movie series or short TV series, that would be amazing. And I would buy so many copies of that. Uh, yeah, so another machinima other than Red vs. Blue would have to be HMV Hell 5. Uh, that was done by I'm Suck. And yeah, that is a really great machinima, guys. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link to it as well as links to other people's channels and stuff like that that I've mentioned in this video. Anyway, guys, that's the end of our Q&A session. It went a little longer than I anticipated, which is amazing. It means a lot of you have a lot of questions for me and want to know a lot more about what I plan for the future and who I possibly could be. Maybe I'm sitting right next to you. But yeah, guys, thanks again for helping me get to 500 subscribers. I'll be doing something else special when we get to 1,000. And 10,000 followers on Instagram is coming up real soon. So just a little heads up, I will be having another giveaway for then. Not too sure what I'll be giving away, but it'll be something cool. And yeah, you guys can look forward to that. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Let them know that you're in a video you got mentioned. And I'll see you in the next one. This has been UNSC Australia, out. Uh, hopefully this isn't the part I'm meant to be doing like quickly because I am just enjoying the scenery. What you got, mister? You better run away because you're going to get blown up. <laughs>